Hi, welcome back to FAIR TV. I'm Peter Hart. Barack Obama's September 10th address laid out a new plan to attack Islamic State fighters in Iraq and Syria. As with any war, cutting through the hype and fear-mongering can be difficult. We're told again and again that Obama is reluctant to go to war. The Washington Post said he is six years into a presidency devoted to ending U.S. wars in the Muslim world. Well, except for Libya, Afghanistan, Yemen, and Pakistan. Beyond that, the TV talk shows are full of chatter about how the Islamic State poses an imminent and immediate threat to the United States. A new U.S. intelligence assessment says that ISIS now poses a direct threat to the American homeland. So what happens here in northern Iraq in the battle for Erbil matters a lot back home. This, in many respects, represents the most significant threat that this country has seen since September 11. Do you think they pose an, a threat to the homeland now? I do. I believe they do. The conversations in the White House and the administration are this. Is the threat to the U.S. homeland greater than the threat of leaving Assad in power? And they are clearly siding with the threat to the homeland. We're told the public mood has shifted rather dramatically and suddenly in favor of going to war. One needn't wonder about the role the media have played in all of this. Nixon-era National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger is everywhere these days, enjoying the usual media praise. He was dubbed the most celebrated foreign policy strategist of our time by the Washington Post. He was on the front page of USA Today, and he showed up on the CBS Sunday chat show, Face the Nation, where host Bob Schieffer suggested he's the one who could fix the Russia-Ukraine crisis. The way Kissinger is lionized in the media, you'd hardly know a thing about his bloody record, from Vietnam to Chile to Cambodia and beyond. NPR host Scott Simon gently raised the matter on Weekend Edition. Mr. Kissinger, every time we interview you, we hear from people who, uh, who object, who say they have no interest in your opinion because of your role during the war in Vietnam. Uh, especially the bombing of Cambodia and Laos. How do you answer that? Well, that almost makes it sound like the problem isn't with Kissinger's gruesome history, but that some people actually remember it. Kissinger faced more serious questioning on the public radio show The Takeaway, where he got so upset about Todd Zwilich's questions that at one point he claimed that very few, if any, people died in the bombing of Cambodia which just sounds bizarre to anyone who remembers it, including Kissinger's infamous order for that attack, anything that flies on anything that moves. In the interview, Kissinger went on to say this. We, I served in a difficult period uh, of, of various wars in which we did the best we could to bring an end to the wars and to begin a structure of peace. And really for fi that 50 years after, an interviewer would spend that much time on this is outrageous. Actually, what's outrageous is how rarely this kind of thing happens to Henry Kissinger. And finally, NFL running back Ray Rice was fired after the widespread dissemination of a surveillance video that shows him assaulting his then fiance in a hotel elevator that led to some serious discussions about domestic violence. And then there's Fox News. The morning yuck fest known as Fox and Friends took up the story on September 8th. There was some craziness well, I there. think the messages take the stairs. <laughs> the messages, uh, when you're in an ele elevator, there's a camera. Yeah. For a network whose stars bemoan society's lack of civility, that struck some people as a new low. Some people, but not the people at Fox, least of all the hosts of Fox and Friends. Addressing the outrage they generated on their show, the next day, host Brian Kilmeade offered this. All right, uh, meanwhile, comments that we made during this story yesterday made some feel like we were taking the situation too lightly. We are not, we were not. Domestic abuse is a very serious issue to us, I can assure you. And we're gonna continue to follow this story. You got that? If you think making jokes about domestic violence means they don't take it seriously, you're wrong. Stay classy, Fox News. I'm Peter Hart. Thanks for tuning in to FAIR TV.